channel if this is your first time watching me hello my name is Carly and it's not even noon yet and I've already had three cups of coffee I've got like shaky old woman hands you know when like an old woman tries to do anything like put on a necklace and she's like that's me right now my hair is already white slash gray so the shaky hands are really helping with my grandma vibes 28 82 goals if you are not yet subscribed to my channel and you want to see all of this grandma fashion wisdom I will put the link on your screen and down below in the info I post new videos every single Thursday for today's video I'm going to be sharing with you guys all of my secrets on how to actually shop for clothes online. Shopping for clothes online can kind of be a frustrating process because you're not sure where to shop, you're not sure how to shop. So I'm going to be sharing with you guys all of my top tips on how to actually shop for clothes online. How to get clothes you like, how to make sure the clothes will fit you, and how to get them at a cheaper price. If you like the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up to let me know and let's get into my top tips on how to shop for clothes online. Boards really help because you can look at them and ask yourself questions about why you picked the things you picked and what about them did you like? Was it the fit? Was it the color? All of these can really help you know what to look for before you go shop online. Personally for me, I know what I like to look for when I'm shopping. Black, white, shocking. Really pay attention when you're trying pieces on, what fits you like, what make you feel comfortable, because that way when you're seeing different pieces online, you can identify the fit and be like, no, I don't like the way that dress looks on me. So for example, with me, on my body, I like my legs, but I don't really like my torso. So I tend to stick to higher waisted things that show off my legs versus things like bandage dresses, which really show off curves. You might be used to being a size six somewhere else, but on that website, the size might be different. So to avoid getting something and not actually fitting into it and having to return it, I always check the size chart and actually see what size I should order. Models usually wear a sample size, which is usually a two or a size small. So if the model is wearing something like a medium, you know that it runs small and you should go larger. Really look at the clothing in the picture because it's gonna look the best it will ever look when it's on the model in that photo. They hired a team of people to make that garment look amazing so you would want to buy it. So if it looks kind of questionable in the photo, you should not buy it. Like seriously, look at how short this thing is. That's not a dress. That's gonna be a napkin on you. If you ordered this and you have any kind of curve to you, literally you will be wearing a t-shirt. So many red flags whenever I see a model covering up 50% of the dress. What are you hiding in there? If you're looking at a piece of clothing online, like a shirt, but you can't think of what pants you'll wear with it, don't buy it. You want to be buying pieces that you can mix in with your current wardrobe and re-wear multiple times. So if you really like something, but you can't figure out how you would wear it with any of your other pieces, chances are you never will. I like to shop online a lot of the times to get inspiration for pieces that I already have. I'll be looking at things and I'm like, oh my gosh, I love this outfit. But when I start to actually break down the look, I'm like, oh, I have a black tank top that kind of looks similar to that. And I start to come up with new outfits with pieces that I already have and I end up not buying the things that I thought I wanted. I add things to my cart on websites and not buy them and then I'll go look on other websites to see if I can find something similar and less expensive. Ebates has changed my life. Ebates is a website that lets you save money while shopping online and then also pays you to shop online. What? Yes. This is not a joke. This is not a sponsorship. This is real. Basically, Ebates has codes for websites that you already shop online for, like Nordstrom, Sephora, Forever 21. Ebates will show you not only coupons that are available, but then they will also show you price matched items. So you can find pieces that you already wanted at crazy discounted prices, but then they will also pay you cash back on your purchase. I know right now they have a 15% cash back bonus on certain stores going on, which is insane. So for an example of how I personally have used this, I'm going on a trip this weekend to Jamaica. So last week I went to Nordstrom.com through Ebates. I bought two swimsuits and I got money back from those swimsuits. So if you'd like to sign up, I highly encourage you to do it. Click the link down below in the info, sign up and do your regular shopping through Ebates because you can save money and make money. 
We've all seen those tragic websites that post ads on places like Facebook that are advertising dresses for like $12. Most of the time the photos they're advertising with aren't even their photos, let alone photos of the clothing they're selling. The pictures might be tempting and the prices might be tempting, but seriously just avoid buying from those websites because most of them are scam sites. Stick to reputable places with reputable brands that you've heard of, that you've seen in person, that you know the quality so that way you're not getting into a situation where you're wasting money. I've saved the best tip for last. Okay, well maybe not the best tip, but I've saved my favorite tip for last. I always get a ton of questions on my fashion videos as well as on my Instagram outfit posts asking me where the actual pieces are from, asking me for links for the actual pieces, and I've heard your requests and they have been answered. Now, every single time I post a fashion video or an outfit post on Instagram, I am on my blog linking not only exactly what I'm wearing, but linking you guys to cheaper options that look similar. I will be putting all of those shopping posts every week on my blog, so if you wanna see my top picks, from my favorite stores throughout the week. They will be on my website. All right guys, I hope these tips could help you eliminate any confusion when you're shopping online. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'll put the link on your screen and down below in the info. I post new videos every single Thursday. Bye guys.